Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Tone, with the news, updates, trends, and analysis. Happy Labor Day to all my Americans. Today is a great day. It's Monday, another money day, but a lot of people are off. A lot of people are barbecuing, having fun, enjoying their days. It's morning. It's only 11 a.m., but we all have to enjoy one day and labor day is a great day to grab one and eat some barbecue and love our country thank you all for tuning in on this beautiful day i'm here to just you know do one of those videos of adding on i am gonna research with you guys at the same time maybe we bring up a conversation maybe we do something I have Google open, ready to give me some information. I'm also going to apply my gold. Matter of fact, I think that's the first thing I'm going to do right now while you guys are watching. I know a lot of people have been asking me in my DMs about this gold, but I mean, it's 24. I'm going to get into gold uh, probably on my grown human talk on how important gold is to us i mean if you guys seen my grown human talk youtube you guys already know how important gold is like and i haven't even like talked about gold itself you know but this is with gold and uh, i mean it helps i'm i feel like it's helping you know i mean i've always never had problems you know with woman and I've never had problems with getting things done all right man this is good this is great how was your weekend guys still a long weekend some of you guys are sleeping when you watch this video will be another time and some of you are just waking up and watching this video but thank you so much for the opportunity for giving me your time let's see what's on google today let's go on the news let's see what news is up uh, news 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 Where's the news up? All right, let's see what's on the news today. What's going on in the world? Zelensky says he'll replace Oleski Ranskov as Ukraine defense minister. Oh, man. They're replacing. Oh, look. Yeah, this is pretty interesting, guys. This is happening in Burning Man. Uh... Get this hour with thousands of people in a sticky situation in the Nevada desert. This is new CNN drone video. Wow. People who came for the normally sun soaked Burning Man festival, but extreme weather intervened. Uh, this video taken just a short time ago as uh, the revelers were making their way out of the Black Rock Desert in Nevada. A storm dumped two or three months worth of rain in just 24 hours. Wow. One death during the downpour is being investigated. Attendees have been bogged down in thick ankle deep mud, making driving impossible, walking a slog. They're being told to conserve water, food, and fuel, uh, but things are slowly improving. Earlier, I spoke to one woman stranded there and asked her about the conditions. Um, well, here's what it looks like on your feet. It's kind wow. of um, wow. wet, everything is muddy, but every, all of our spirits are really high. Like the previous person said, we're all kind of coming together in the community, making sure you know we all get packed up. And, Break down camp safely. Everybody's eating. Everybody's got water. Everything is pr pretty good. CNN's Camila Bernal joins us now. Uh, Camila, I, I was just amazed. You probably couldn't see the video from where you're standing, but as I was talking to this woman, she picked up her foot and she showed what looked like two or three inches of thick mud st stuck to the bottom of her shoe. And I guess this is what people were dealing with in the middle of all this. But I guess uh, things are improving somewhat. Give us the latest. 
Well, Jim, it's still really messy. And I don't have to see the video because there were so many people that I saw here walking out of the playa. Just to give you some perspective of where I am, the playa is right here behind me. And so the festival is only just a couple of miles from where I am. So throughout the day, I saw dozens and dozens of people with those cakey shoes with mud all over their bodies. The cars are covered in mud. I saw a number of RVs getting stuck behind me here in the desert. That's what you're seeing today. And people are saying, look, I want to get out no matter what. The people that I talked to today told me we needed to get out for one reason or another, which is why they decided wow. to either walk or try to get their cars here. Despite the fact that there is a shelter in place, they decided to come out and that's what they were calling the beginning of the exodus. They say tomorrow it is going to be even worse because there's going to be more people wanting to get out because of the situation of not having maybe enough water or food. There is a lot of well, a lot of people who want to shower. We're dividing <laughs> our portions. They're all coming together to help each other. They're all very positive. Everyone that I talked to has told me that they're having a great time, that they're happy. But there was some concern about what kind of food and supplies they had a lot for of the people rest of the day, need to go depending back to on work. how long they had to be here. And of course, everyone that I talked to today telling me that it was very difficult to walk out of the festival. Here's one of those attendees and what she told me. Uh, this is the it's last quite one, expansive out there and it probably took me three hours of slogging to to walk just from my camp to the road and I did get a little bit of a hitchhike into in the back of someone's truck but uh yeah it's just really thick dense mud so wherever it's wet it's just heavy and sticky and it's a real sloppy mess out there. <laughs> Most everything's turned off, but there's still some people partying. <laughs> wow, guys, that's insane. That's insane. That's happening, yeah, like, it's happening yesterday, today. Uh, supposedly 70,000 people were stuck. Uh, a rare rain, randomly. Like, wow. Um, insane. Let's see what else is on the news. I'm actually sorry, guys. Hmm, what's open, what's closed? Everybody wants to know? Well, New York, eh. Well, I don't know if you guys are from New York, but. This is pretty interesting. Uh, this is actually uh, something that I probably will have to touch about very soon. China's biggest home builder reels as econ economy slows. This might be something that might have to come in conversation. Once considered a survivor of China's real estate turmoil, country's garden is now at the center of crisis and threatens the broader economy. When country's garden, the biggest developer in the China's increasing troubled real estate sector, published its annual report in April, the cover design executed hope. A phoenix spreaded its wings. A company said the image showed that China's economy was back on track and that this year's would see growth soaring a new height. I'm pretty sure they're talking about Evergreen. Uh, I think that's the one that it's going through something. I don't know why they haven't mentioned the name here. But shortly after the report released, China nascent economy recovery lost steam and an already sluggish real estate market started to collapse at Country's Garden. Pre-sales of unfinished apartments, a crucial indicator of future revenue, plunged more than 50% in June and July twice the rate of the decline and the preceding five months. For the past three years, as dozens of major property developers defaulted after years of excessive borrowing, Country Garden was an outlier, but last month it missed two interest payments, signaling that it too was at risk of financial collapse with $187 billion in debt. Ooh. Country Garden must come up with $22 million this week, 
the end of grace period for the missed payments. On Friday, the company won a last minute approval from creditors to postpone repayment of $537 million in yuan denominated bonds, originally due on Monday until 2026, according to documents shared by Country Garden. Last week, after reporting a $7.1 billion loss for the first six months of 2023, Country Garden said there were material uncertainties which may cast significant doubt and its ability to avoid bankruptcy. The company is scrambling to raise cash and keep its creditors at bay, selling off stakes in properties and issuing shares at a discount. It has been dramatic fall for Country Garden. The company's improbable rise from a regional home builder to a national behemoth track China's own metric asset. Now its collapse reflects the speed and severity of the country's real estate real estate meltdown which threatens to derail the broader economy wow this is it's pretty bad too look i don't know i wouldn't want to live there man i mean that's how it looks right but this is building building next to building there's really no views if you got what i'm saying but yeah um i'm really gonna have to have a whole conversation about China and the economy in China because that could really affect us in the near coming future. And we're not doing too good in the economy as well. It looks like we are getting back to, you know, a balance, but it's still nothing to be like, oh man, we're there already, you know? So we got to be careful. We got to be careful. And, uh, yeah, focus, in, focus on each other. You know, they focus on yourself, on your family, your team. Just like I'm going to focus on me, my team, my family, and you guys. You know, I focus on you guys giving you this information and trying to work and build on bringing you some information. Again, this is just a video, not really organized. I just woke up and I'm like, yo, it's Monday. I have to do a video and get it done. We're going to do our own research. Um, there's going to be days that there's going to be bombarding of content of probably twice a day, three times, depending. And sometimes it's going to be like this. Um, I am going to be bringing my laptop with me so you guys can know that if something happens, boom, I got my laptop and I'm recording and I'm doing a recording. I am actually might do some recordings through my phone and edit it and do different pieces. Um, I want to start going out places and meeting up with people and, you know, getting this content and, and, and building. I want to build and, and make things happen for you guys. Okay. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much. It's Labor Day. You guys, enjoy your day. If you guys see it another day, enjoy that day as well. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys like these videos, give me a thumbs up. Send it to your friends. Let your friends know your mom, your sister, your cousins, your uh, everybody. Everybody that you know on your list. Text blast it to everybody. Give it a thumbs up as well. Show some love. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.